Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is March 8, 2016. Our discussion is going to be about unclean. It's found eight time in, times in seven Bible verses. In Leviticus, the uh, Israelites are given a law, anyone touching anything ceremonially unclean, such as dead body, of an animal is forbidden for food, wild or domesticated, or the dead body of some forbidden insect is guilty even though he wasn't aware about touching it. In Isaiah, go now, leave your bonds and slavery. Put Babylon and all it represents far behind you. It is unclean to you. You are the holy people of the Lord. Purify yourself. All you who carry home the vessels of the Lord. Now we know that Jesus in one of the Gospels healed ten lepers. And he told them to go have the priest check to verify that they were now clean. In Ephesians 2.11 Never forget that once you are were a heathen and that you were called godless and unclean by the Jews but their hearts too were still unclean even though they were going through the ceremonies and rituals of the godly for they circumcised themselves as a sign of godliness now what I'm getting for all, from all these verses if you remember it's forbidden to touch anything that was unclean, dead or alive, or uh, that hasn't been blessed, sanctified. And the Babylonians were very unclean to the Jews. They were to cleanse themselves and purify themselves before carrying any of the vessels of the Lord that had been taken by the Bab Babylonians back to the temple. Never, never forget that when you're born into this world, you're born into sin, spiritual sin, because of the disobedience that happened in the Garden of Eden. As I mentioned, the ten lepers, they were unclean, and the priests were the ones that would pronounce them clean. We were made clean through Jesus who went to that cross and died for our sins. Have a blessed day, and God bless you.